Hello guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a twin go forward and in reverse. Here in my workspace, I have three different parts. I have Y0, Y1, and Y2. Now go ahead and go to your service script service, add a script, and add in the following lines. Here, we're just doing a basic tween. We're tweening the Y0 part, which is the top part. And we're using the default for the easing style and easing direction. Our target is 120 units to the right. So it's going to move our part from the left to the right. And again, if you want additional details on how all these work, you can refer to our prior tutorials on Twin Service. Next thing we're going to do, I'm going to copy this block of code. And I'm going to paste it down here. We're going to be changing the second part, which is Y1. And I'm going to add a parameter here. The next parameter I'm going to add is going to be the repeat count. I'm going to set it to zero. So basically, the easing style, the easing direction, and the repeat count, they are all the default. We're, we're not changing anything yet. So this Y1 part is going to behave exactly the same as our Y0 part. And we're going to replicate this one more time. So I'm going to copy this. And I'll come down here. I'll paste it down here. This time, we're going to change our Y2 part, which is the, the, uh, the part at the bottom. And we're going to add one more parameter to our twin info dot new. We're adding a Boolean value. We're going to say true. This next parameter here tells the system whether to reverse the tween after it has completed or not. Basically, what's going to happen is these two parts, they're going to complete the tween and that they're all done. But this one, after the tween is completed, it's going to reverse and go back to the original position. Let's now play and take a look. So there are the two, the three parts, and they're all moving to the right. But you're gonna see that only the bottom part is gonna reverse. It's gonna reverse and go back to the original position. Let's do one more test. Instead of having a repeat count of zero, we're gonna change this to one. So we're gonna repeat the tween one time for the second part. And the third part, we're going to repeat the tween one time. Let's play and take a look. So our top part is not going to repeat. And the second and the third part is going to repeat one time. So this top part ends. This one is repeating one time. And this one is reverses. And it's going to do another tween because it has to repeat one time. So each time it repeats, it's going to repeat the forward motion and the reverse motion. Everyone, that's how you add a reverse motion to your tween in Roblox. Thank you for watching again, and we will see you in the next tutorial.